and welcome to my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Tonight, guys, I'm doing another important discussion. I didn't really have time to put a spell together. Um, spent, I was out earlier today spending time with a friend, and then uh, I had to go to work and everything, And but I wanted to put a discussion together. Probably do a spell tomorrow night. I'm, even on Saturday, I usually do discussions, so. And it's actually Saturday morning right now when I'm recording this, so. I'm kind of a day behind myself a little bit, so. Alright, so the name of this discussion is going to be... I got this idea from some, uh... Quote I've seen online. I was like, let's make a good discussion. It's called Shifting Blame to Make Others Look Bad. Why It's Unhealthy and How to Take Responsibility for Our Own Actions. So... What I'll do, I'll read the article, then we'll have a little discussion on it, alright? <laughs> so, title. Shifting Blame to Make Others Look Bad. Why it's unhealthy, and how to take responsibility for our actions. We've all been in situations where someone has done something wrong, instead of owning up to it. They try to shift the blame to someone else. It's a common tactic used by people to avoid feeling guilty about their actions, but in truth, it only makes things worse. Shifting blame onto others is unhealthy, and it's important for us to take responsibility for our own actions. When we shift blame onto others, we are essentially saying that we are not at fault for what we did. This is dangerous because it can lead to a lack of accountability and a lack of personal growth. By not taking responsibility for our actions, we are not learning from our mistakes. And we are not growing as individuals. Instead, when we realize that we have done something wrong, we should immediately apologize to the person we have wronged. We should take responsibility for our actions and not try to shift the blame onto others. This is the only way we can truly learn from our mistakes and grow as individuals. It is also important to remember that when we wrong someone, it's not their fault. It's our burden to bear and we should never try to make them feel guilty for our actions. Instead, we should apologize and work to make things right. By admitting our poor actions towards others and learning from our mistakes, we can become more inclusive towards others. We can show them that we are willing to take responsibility for our actions, that we are committed to growing as individuals. This can help to build trust and strengthen relationships. In conclusion, shifting blame onto others is unhealthy. It's important for us to take responsibility for our actions we should apologize when we realize that we have done wrong and never shift the blame to others. By admitting our mistakes and learning from them, we can become, it says this again, more inclusive towards others and build stronger relationships. Let's work hard to show love to others and build friendships with them. Yes, very important. Instead of cutting them down or making them look bad. Guys, that article turned out very well. I've seen a quote online was similar, a little similar to this. I was like, I'm going to do an article and a discussion on this because I'm trying to think of things to talk about. So I think this would be a perfect discussion to have tonight, guys. All right. So I'm going to get into this, all right? So you see, instead of trying to... Instead of making someone look bad to others, we're trying to, we're trying to ruin reputation, guys. We should look at ourselves to make sure that we didn't wrong them by doing or saying something. And instead of making them look bad to cover our own guilt, we should own up to our mistakes and apologize, guys. Like, I've seen situations where basically what people do to try to cover their own guilt for doing something wrong, they completely shift to the person they wronged. Not only do they shift it, they try to do something to ruin that person's reputation. Say something that's just like completely twisted or just to try to shift everything towards them so nobody's looking at them, they're looking at the other person, guys. That's very unhealthy, not only for the person that's being affected, but you're, but you're seeing your own conscience and hardening your heart when you do that. You're basically teaching yourself that we never make mistakes, we never do wrong, and it's always everybody else's fault. And guys, that's a very toxic way to think. We really need to like take responsibility for our actions. See, that's one thing that we're not really taught in our society anymore. Even in school when I was a kid, I was told things like, well, if one some person does something wrong in a class, you're all guilty. You're all going to be punished. No. No, that, that is a very bad thing to teach children. Like, 
They need to learn from a young age. If you do something, you're responsible. I could never understood why that why the schools would like teachers would tell students things like that. I mean, my experience, like I said before, in, in situations, guys, in schools, teachers would always shift blame to the like. Yes, students would mess around, do things wrong. When a teacher would do something wrong, at least in some of my experiences, they would blame the students and continue to berate them instead of trying to take action. It's like they were trying to save face and they want to look like they did stuff wrong. But one of the best things an adult can do towards a child is admit they're wrong. Like as a parent, I don't, I, I'll tell my kids if I'm doing something wrong and I'll apologize. I don't like try to say, well, they did it or, or it was nobody's fault. No, you, you want to teach them that we make mistakes too. So. See, yeah, we learn personal responsibility when we admit our, our wrong. Instead of causing others' reputation to be destroyed, guys, you should never do that. Part of showing unconditional love, unconditional acceptance, is being sorry for how we hurt others. We, guys, we need to swallow our pride. We need to bear our burden. And build the other person wronged up. Instead of trying to destroy their reputation, guys. I know what that's like, to deal with that. Like, people do something wrong to you, and then... Instead, they blame you and they even try to say things to try to like destroy your reputation, guys. You know how you determine someone's reputation? Look at how they treat others and how they treat you. Don't listen to the chatter. Look what kind of person they are. Do they show love? Do they reach out and try to be friends with people? Do they go out of their way to help people in need? Do they donate to charities? I mean, I can think of all kinds of things, guys, that, you know, that... Somebody's, look at somebody's character, not their reputation. Reputation isn't necessarily as important as character, guys. You can hear all kinds of things that aren't true about people. But when you witness for firsthand what their character's like, that tells you everything about the person. No matter what their character's like, you show unconditional love and unconditional acceptance. Maybe the person has a bad character because they need a friend. Maybe they need someone to come along and show them love. Maybe they've never been loved in their life. And I think one of the best things we can do is come along and try to love that person and try to be their friend. See, when we learn to love ourselves more, it will raise our own self-esteem and vibrations. It will cause us to love and accept others as well. And then we will take responsibility for our actions, guys. Like I said earlier, shifting blame not only hurts others, but also ourselves. It will lower our self-esteem. And it will bring bad karma into our lives. People that have a lot of problems. Have you ever noticed, like, how a lot of times they're miserable and they, like, attack people all the time? Well, guys, things balance them. The karma balances itself out. And we want to have joy and happiness in our life. Do what's right. Go out of your way. Help others in need. Show them friendship. Show them love. You know, be that good person. Come along and be the person that, that somebody needs, you know. Be the, be the person that shows that love and cares. Even if everybody else around you doesn't and seem miserable, you, you stand out. You be that light in that dark place. You go into the darkness with a light. You rescue that person that's going through that, out of that dark spot. And you guide them out with the light, guys. You know, don't be, don't be the person that, just, that blames others. You be the one that helps, all right? So shifting blame not only hurts others, but it hurts ourselves. Like I said, it lowers our self-esteem and brings bad karma into our lives, just like I said. See, when we take responsibility for our own actions, it frees us from heavy burdens in our lives, guys. It'll free us. Like, we start thinking and shifting our thinking like that in our actions. We have joy and happiness, guys. Like, right now... I've learned to like really love myself and just and accept myself for who I am. Not everybody agrees with some of the ways I think. Not anybody. Not everybody's going to. But you see, I've learned to accept who I am. I hear people tell you all the time, you know, you need to be yourself. But be watch them when they tell you that. How do they act towards you when you really are yourself? Do they really mean that? Because if they really mean that. They're going to respect you, even if they don't agree with you. They're going to say, I hear you. I may not agree with what you have, exactly what you have to say, but I respect you as a person with your own views. They're not going to blame you for or trying to ruin your reputation over what you think, even if it's something that society might not agree with, guys. 
I so hard try to get this across to people, like how other societies are all different. I know we talked about this. Where I like talking about this, though, like each society has different views on different issues, and we need to respect that. Because if we don't respect somebody because they have a different view, our society goes against. We need to be very careful because there might be another country around the world where they do respect that without realizing it. We could be like, uh, what's the word? Um, xenophobic. Like, basically, we're, without realizing it, we're running down another culture. You need to be careful. You need to be so careful about that. Because I don't think most people that have a heart want to do that kind of thing, so. But yeah, like, it's going to go look over this again real quick. Apologize, guys. Like, if you immediately, when you realize you did something wrong, make it right fast. Don't wait. Like, don't. Like, try to think, to think of thoughts in your mind, well, this person did this and this and this. No. You did something wrong, you apologize. And generally, people are going to respect you for that, because you don't hear a lot of people apologizing, like, anymore. They're going to respect the fact that you owned up to your mistake. And you're being, you're taking responsibility as an adult towards it. And people are going to see that, and I would think they would respect that. Alright? Well, guys, I just had a little discussion for tonight. Had some talking points I wanted to go over. Let me know what you think. Send me in the comments or, you know, I try to discuss things, you know, like, we might have, there might have been other similar discussions on YouTube as it's taking responsibility. But shifting blame to others to make them look bad for your own responsibility, I've never heard that kind of discussion, but I've seen it on a quote. So I'm getting ideas from, like, even look, looking at quotes about having these discussions. Because I want to go in and I see a quote, I want to break that quote down and go deeper into it. And see what it really means and how to interpret it, guys. You know, things that didn't used to matter to me and fascinate me, they really do now. Like, these kind of having these discussions and just being able to try to help other people. It gives me great joy, guys. So, Alright, so that was the discussion for tonight. And we're going to, of course, send some energy out to the bay leaf, like I do with my discussions. Basically what it says... Accept responsibility of guilt and don't blame others. Raise your vibrations and self-esteem. Because you will. You will raise your vibrations and you'll have more self-esteem in yourself, guys. If you accept responsibility for your guilt and your actions instead of blaming others. So we're going to send that energy out tonight, guys. We're going to send that out. So here I go. Accept responsibility of guilt. Don't blame others. Raise your vibrations and self-esteem. Show unconditional love, unconditional acceptance. So mote it be. I send this energy out now to my local community, people around me, just people in general. Got a train coming again, guys. In the meantime, I got... I burnt most of the stem. This time, I'm going to get a little more. Here. Stem sometimes burns longer than everything else because of the fact that... It's more dense. There's only a little piece left right here that I'm getting. That's take There we go. I just want to send as much of that energy out from the bay leaf. Bay leaves are known to hold a lot of energy, guys. They're good for manifestation, like I showed you that spell. Um, good for sending energy out, positive energy in general. And it's very meditative, too. I don't know if you guys ever smelled a burning bay leaf. It's an herbal smell. It's actually very pleasant. Most people cook with them. I mean, I use them in my spaghetti sauce because they, they taste good, you know? But, like, it's something that's been interesting to me for a while, something called kitchen witchery. And basically what it is, you're taking different, uh, there's recipes based on, like, energy you get from, like, plants and, like, herbs. And you're making a recipe out of that with the intent put into it to, like, to help other people, to give people the energy. But the difference with me, I'm not just going to give somebody something and not tell them what it's for. Like, if I'm going to feed somebody that especially doesn't practice, doesn't know about this stuff, I'm not going to violate them by not by not telling them exactly what the intentions were behind it. A lot of people aren't going to mind. A lot of them don't necessarily believe in it anyway. But you want to let them know. 
you always want to violating somebody guys and no matter what way you're doing it like forcing something on somebody against your will I think we'll all agree that's always wrong because we all have free will that's one of the reasons I don't target people generally and I say generally because you know I do defensive magic and sometimes I find it necessary not to harm people but either to protect yourself to send energy back protect other people that are in danger guys there's situations I just think the type of witch I am I don't want to be someone that harms. I want to be a healer, not not a, not someone that causes pain and suffering. Guys, I see people that see. I really don't want to judge other people that are in the practice, but at the same time, I see how different people are that, that do that kind of thing. Like, I know I have, I'll put it this way. I mean, speaking for myself, like I guess I know plenty of joy and happiness by the practice that I do. And I think if I started going in a different direction. I would compromise all that, and all that joy and happiness would go away, and I'd start getting the stuff back to me, guys. I don't want that. The reason, the main reason I don't, it's not because I don't want a, a karma, it's because I don't want to hurt other people. I have love. You know, I really do, guys. Even if I had to do something like defend my own energy or myself, like I've done with the return of senders, it's not out of hate. It's because I'm sending the energy back so they can understand what it's like. So maybe they'll learn not to do that. Not because I want to hurt anybody. That's why I don't do hexes or curses. I know some witches that are perfectly fine with it. Like I say, it's a last resort. Even as a last resort, I can't see myself hexing somebody. Like I said, return the sender. The hexing people, guys, like... I mean, you can really do some serious damage to people. Like, your intentions and your words and your actions can actually... Even in energy sense, you can really do some serious damage to people. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to harm other people? How would you like it if someone did that to you? You know, I don't think you would. All right, I got my singing bowl, but I also have, I didn't like this, I'm gonna like this. My uh, healing incense here. This is all, all these, a lot of these discussions have to do with some sort of healing, and this definitely does. Taking responsibility is definitely healing, guys. So, I'm gonna burn this. I'm gonna grab my singing bowl. And we're going to send some energy out with that, too. Oh, I love the smell of that, guys. I love the smell of that. When I say rope inside, I mean, people think rope. It's not like burning rope, nasty smell. It's a very pleasant, sweet smell. So it looks like rope, but it's like some sort of... I'm not even sure the kind of plant it is. I know that it might be several plants put together. Or some sort of like grass maybe or something, but I know that it's Himalayan rope. And it comes from the Himalayas. Guys, I don't know about you, I've always wanted to go over to like places like Nepal, Kathmandu, even Himalayan mountains. For thousands of years, people practiced meditation over there. You got these like Buddhists that can sit there perfectly still for hours. They can literally travel somewhere else. Like, I don't know if you're, you know what astral projection is. I don't think they call it over there, but... It's more like remote viewing. They can sit there and they can actually go. They can view and they can have visions and they can view other things. They can travel around the world. Guys, I think we, some people know how to do that stuff. We've lost that so much in our world. Being in tune with the earth. Going outside in nature. Taking a walk barefoot. Just grounding yourself. Feeling the trees and the plants. Feeling the energy. When I was with my friend earlier, uh, oh, you know, we, did, we went fishing, alright? But, uh... Afterwards, me and him and his girlfriend, him and my friend and his girlfriend, we took a walk into the woods because this was on state lands. We found there was a fire pit out there and it had these little, like, cut off logs, like, kind of purposely in like a circle where you could sit down, kind of like where we'd have a fire. But we didn't have a fire, it was the daytime. We just sat there, just relaxing and talking and everything. And I remember, guys, all around us, you could hear like the birds. There's a very light breeze, it was in the lower 70s. It was very relaxing and meditative for me just sitting there, like hearing the birds and nature around us, hearing the wind blowing against the trees. Guys, like, I, I mean, getting out in nature and just taking in the energy from it, it's so beautiful. People just walk through the woods and they look at little plants and read signs. Guys, but you really need to immerse yourself. Immerse yourself in the woods. When you go out in the woods and you go in nature, immerse yourself in it, guys. It's very rewarding. There's these mosquitoes flying around us, but it's like they were real small. They couldn't bite. They just kept, like, bouncing off. It's kind of neat. almost looked like, I don't know, this is going to sound crazy, but the way they were flying around me, 
almost looked like little like uh, bubbles or something like it was just the whole nature aspect of it is just so beautiful all right guys so I'm gonna grab my singing bowl so I'm gonna say I'm gonna seek a little affirmation with this all right let's take personal responsibility for our actions no longer blame others when we feel guilty by shifting the blame. Take responsibility. Admit when you're wrong. Show unconditional love. Unconditional acceptance. Unconditional friendship. Unconditional respect, guys. Best way we can do that is by taking responsibility for our actions and loving others for who they are for what they believe, no matter what it is, we are different. All right, so mote it be, so mote it be, so mote it be. Well, I think this discussion went very well tonight, guys. And I'm always glad to talk to you. I'm still looking for the contest one. I, I made it. I made a little uh, Cheryl. Cheryl Smith, please email me, eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. I made another video about your winner. I announced it a couple days ago. Uh, I'd just like to, if you could, hear back by Monday, I'd appreciate it. I mean, you don't have to, but, I, you know, it wouldn't definitely make it easier for me. So, congratulations, Cheryl Smith. You win the mushroom, and then the magic pouch with a couple surprise gifts in it. So, please get back to me, okay? I know you might not have seen some of these videos yet. So, I know you watch my videos because you leave comments, and... I really appreciate your dedication to my channel and everybody else too. I do this because I want to do something to show some sort of appreciation. If I could afford to buy things for all my viewers and give them out, I would. But even running a contest and having people win, just being able to get, give something out to people. Something either I've made, which I think is even better because you're making something with your own hands. To me, receiving a gift, something somebody created to craft with your own hands means even more to me than somebody just buying something, guys, because they put their energy and their work into that. So. All right, guys, before we go, you know what I'm going to do. Everyone has worth, value, beauty, and needs to be loved. Every person is shifting blame. They need to take responsibility. Every person is having a reputation destroyed, or every person that is a victim or the person that's, uh, going, that's doing the attack, guys, they're still people. And they have worth, value, beauty. They all deserve unconditional love, unconditional acceptance, unconditional friendship, unconditional respect. All right, guys. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell notification icon to be updated my latest video. Thank you for watching my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Blessed be.